Hello everyone, this is John from Vulgar Kitten Studios and welcome to part 4 of our third person shooter controller series. Alright, so uh, I did say that we were going to be working on the camera in the series uh, but there is something that I realized that I really need to go over now and that's that our prefab <coughs> has actually autom or been pre-configured with its uh, IK rig and I really want to, ex excuse me for just one second sorry I had to cough Alright, so uh, I really wanted to explain how that works in detail rather than just give you a rig and you not understand what's going on with it. Uh, so we're going to take a look at how this is going to work uh, prior to setting up our camera and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete everything that has to do with the IK controller. And I'll just go ahead and delete that and come into our gun rig and delete the L and R grips. And now we'll actually take a look at this. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to take your gun. Uh, this gun I actually got from the boot camp tutorial series uh, that I talked about. I just scaled it down just a little bit. We want to take our gun and we want to position it somewhere uh, in front of the character. And as a matter of fact, just because I want to uh, show how this is going to work, I'm going to place this outside of the character. And let me just go ahead and take a look at what's going on here. And as, as I assumed, we're actually being turned around uh, like that. So let me go ahead and make sure that our character is already facing that way. So I'm going to come in here and grab this guy. And I'm just going to rotate him around 180 degrees. So I'm going to hold control and just rotate him around. There we go. And I'm going to take the gun rig and just place it outside. Alright, so what we need to do to make our IK system work is we need an IK rig for the left arm and an IK rig for the right arm. So if we come into our IK folder, and this IK folder is exactly how the IK system would be if you just downloaded it off the asset store, we're just going to come into the prefabs folder within here and we're going to grab this IK limb. And I'm just going to drag that inside of the player's hierarchy and I'm going to rename that to RIK limb uh, limb like that and I'm gonna take that and duplicate it and just change the R to L so that way we can distinguish between the right and left arms and so in the script uh, you see in the JS script here uh, we actually have a couple of variables and this is expecting an upper arm, a forearm, a hand a target and an elbow pole target and we're also going to have to decide whether we want to debug which I actually don't want to debug either of these. I'm going to go ahead and check that off and we're going to need to enable it in order for it to work so this enable property uh, you can actually tag that on or off through script if you want to have animations take over or uh, any other logic that you want to implement without IKs uh, but we're just going to be using IKs in this system so I'm going to go ahead and enable both of those also, another thing that you might want to do is make sure that you have your 3D gizmos turned off. And that's just going to make it a little bit easier to look at this and see how it's going to work. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into our gun rig and go into the M4, right click and create an empty. And I'm going to rename this to R, uh, R Grip. And I'm just going to duplicate that and rename that to L grip. All right. And so these are actually going to be the targets that we want the IKs to resolve to. So we can go ahead and just put those on their respective limbs. So I'm going to take the R grip and put it on the target of the R limb. And same thing with the L limb, just put the L grip right there, put it on the target. And now we'll set up the bones. So uh, this is probably best used with like a 3DS Max BIP bipedal rig or a uh, Blender meta rig or what have you. Uh, but this, uh, this particular rig is set up pretty good as well. So I'm just going to expand the spine and we'll see within spine too we have left shoulder and right shoulder. So I'm going to expand these out all the way down to the hand. And we'll take a look at what we want to actually set up. So I'm going to do the right hand first. Now, for the right arm, we actually want the shoulder piece. So if we click our right arm, we can see that that is actually the shoulder. So uh, let me just click that one more time. And I'll put the right arm on the upper arm. 
and use the forearm for the forearm and the hand for the hand and now it also expects an elbow target so within the player rig I'm gonna go ahead and create uh, another empty and I'm gonna call this our elbow target and duplicate it and rename this one to L elbow target alright so we'll come back into the R limb and I'll put the R elbow target in here and put the L elbow target in here and we'll set up the left arm as well so we we'll use the left arm for the upper arm the left forearm for the forearm and the left hand for the hand alright so just to make this a little bit easier to see I'm going to come into our M4 grips I'm just going to select the R grip and I'm going to make that red I'm just going to put a red label on it and for the L I'm going to put an orange label on it and same way with the uh, with the elbow targets I'm going to come into the R here and I'm just keeping the color coded so I'm going to come into the uh, tags here I'm going to just make a red dot for the elbow target and for the left elbow target I'm going to make that an orange dot like that and those should be at the feet of the controller and Unity's trying to freeze on me here uh, come down here alright so there they are and I might as well just go into perspective mode and it's a little bit easier to work with that way and so uh, let me go ahead and take the left grip and what I want to do is I want to position it uh, up here towards the trigger of the gun and I'm going to just put that right about there and the R grip actually looks relatively good for the um, for the positioning of the right hand and I'm going to need to take the left elbow target I'm going to take the left elbow target and first of all I'm going to move it up uh, but I'm going to move it over this way and I want to position it sort of where the elbow I expect the elbow or the left elbow to be uh, whenever the game is played so I'm going to put that kind of right here and for the right elbow target I'm going to take that and I'm just going to put that over here probably like right up towards the waist and that looks about the same as what we had it before alright so we're going to go ahead and play the game but we're going to notice that there's uh, quite a bit of wrongness going on so let me just go ahead and play the game and we play and I'm going to come back over into the scene view and we can see that this is just <laughs> just awful okay so uh, what we're gonna actually do is we're going to set up the transforms of these but we're going to gonna copy them all down onto probably like a notepad and uh, then just set them back in their transforms uh, when we're outside of play mode but for the right grip uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at the gun first for the gun I'm going to probably want to scoot that back just a little bit maybe to about right there where it's probably about flush with the shoulder and maybe move it over well maybe not over but uh, definitely move it back some and for the right grip I'm gonna take the rotation tool and I'm just gonna rotate it to the point of where the hand looks like it's holding on to the grip there so let me just move that back just a little bit and well, it's going pretty fast I want to actually make him hold on to the handle of the rifle so do it like this and probably want to change that to global and maybe rotate it up just a little bit or yeah just a little bit and change that back to maybe hmm yeah alright so that looks about right uh, now let's go ahead and focus on the left hand 
So his elbows are actually kind of resolved themselves a little bit by positioning the gun. So I'm going to go ahead and take the rotation tool and just make his hand look natural. And scoot this back out over here. And maybe move it about right here. And this can be quite tedious uh, at times, but if you just kind of bear with it, then it's definitely worth it in the future. So just place that there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, it's not something that our users are going to be looking at too much in detail. Um, maybe actually rotate that some more. Uh, well, there is actually a trigger on the gun itself. Uh, right here where the grenade launcher is uh, so we can probably kind of make it look like he's holding on to that about like this and that actually looks a lot more natural and I can probably make it look a little bit better just by rotating it just like about like that and so those transforms are actually really good uh, for what I want so I'm gonna go ahead and pause and I'm gonna just open up a notepad and I'll open up Notepad, and I'll bring that over here. Uh, well, I'll put this on my other monitor. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and just take a look at what what we need to do. So we're going to need to get the rifle transform. We're going to need to get the right hand target transform, and we're going to need to get the right hand target rotation and we're going to need to get the right elbow target transform and I should probably just say call this what it is because it's going to be the position and we're going to need to do the same thing for the left so I'm just going to change this into my change this into the proper words in my notes uh, just to be sure that I get the right things and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to come over here and select those one at a time I'll start out with the right elbow target or actually I'll start out with the rifle since that's what we need and I'm just gonna copy the X Y and Z of the transforms so I'm gonna go ahead and get the X position and I'm gonna put that in the X right here and the Y I'm gonna go ahead and get the Y and get the Z on the position. Uh, so now I'll, well, let me go ahead and get the right hand target. I'm going to want to get the position, so I have a field for that under the target position. So X, Y, and Z. And I also want to get the rotations. So I'm going to come back over here and grab the rotations. So for the X, Y, and Z, and then I'll need to do that for the for the rest of these. And I'm just going to pause the video while I do that, and I'll be right back. All right, so now I actually have an exhaustive list of all of the transform elements that I'm going to need for the rig. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and stop the game. All right, so now we're uh, well. It looks like a it's like some of those have actually retained their positions. Let me go ahead and, well, maybe not. Let me play the game. It should be all whacked out again. So, yeah, it looks like it is. And, yeah, it is. Okay, so while I'm not in play mode, I'm just going to take these and put them into their respective position, positions. So I'm going to come back to the gun and just go ahead and copy in the X, which I did it in descending order. So X, Y, and Z corresponding to uh, their position there. So I'm just go ahead and place all of these and do the same thing for the hand targets uh, position and rotation. So I'll need to put that in there and put this in the Y and put this in the Z and obviously need to do the same thing with the rotations as well. So I'll put the X, the Y, and the Z. Alright, so you get the idea of what you need to do. I'm going to pause the video one more time and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, so I've gotten that done and uh, 
one thing to be noted too is uh, the rotations of the elbow targets really doesn't matter so uh, we can see that that's actually somehow gotten rotated I might have done that without realizing it um, but it doesn't matter in the slightest uh, what its rotation is alright so now that I've gotten all the transforms copied back in let me go ahead and play the game and we should see a little bit different effect and it looks like he's standing appropriately so let's go back into the scene view and we'll check it out so yes it does in fact look like all of those transforms were pretty good so uh, we do have a pretty good looking soldier so far and we might have uh, we might be inclined to make a few adjustments to the position of the gun uh, but real quick just to show you why I moved the gun rig outside of the player's hierarchy is I just want to show you the power of this uh, of this system so let me come back into the game view and as a matter of fact I'm going to split the game view and we're going to take a look at how uh, his arms react when we move around so I'm just going to move back a little bit and maybe move to the right or to the left and you can see that there are some IK errors there but in general he's holding on to the gun as best as he can now once that IK chain is broken uh, he's going to still try to reach for the gun but his uh, arms are not going to move outside of their bounds and if we come back up here then we can see that he's grabbing on to the appropriate spot and so that's all good and like I said I mean it's not perfect uh, but it's definitely better than trying to work with perfect animations and making hundred animations for every single little pose alright uh, so now that we've seen how that works let's go ahead and move the gun rig back into the soldier's hierarchy and uh, I haven't really decided on whether I want to put him inside of the skeleton or just leave him right there um, but for now we'll just leave him within the base uh, object of the player's hierarchy and we'll look at the difference so uh, now that we have him uh, we have the gun in his transform it's going to follow his transform with him so that's the desired effect that we want to have alright so now that I have explained the IK system in depth I believe that that is good enough for this particular video and so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one